To extract RNA instead of DNA, use the trisol extraction method. The tissue from which RNA is to be extracted is homogenized and incubated in trisol reagent at room temperature for 5 minutes. The trisol reagent is acidic, guanidinium thiocyanate, and phenol. Guanidinium thiocyanate, a chaotrophic agent, breaks down the cellular membrane and denatures proteins, including RNases and nucleic acid binding proteins, so that RNA is released from the cell, protected from denaturation, and separated from proteins. The acidic pH of the trisol reagent helps separate RNA from DNA. In acidic pH, RNA dissolves in the polar water layer due to its negatively charged phosphate backbone and extra OH- in the ribose compared to DNA. The DNA's negative charge is neutralized by cations in the acid, causing it to precipitate in an organic layer. The saturated phenol in the trisol reagent is a nonpolar solvent and creates separate layers in the cell lysate. The nonpolar phenol layer collects lipids, precipitated proteins, and DNA. After incubation in the trisol reagent, chloroform is added and mixed with the tube's contents by inverting the tube several times and the tube is left at room temperature for 3 to 5 minutes. Centrifuging causes the homogenate to separate into a transparent upper aqueous layer containing the RNA, an interface and a red lower organic layer containing the DNA and proteins. The aqueous phase is transferred into a fresh tube to which isopropanol is added to precipitate RNA. After incubation for 15 to 20 minutes at room temperature, centrifuging forms RNA pellets. Discarding the supernatant leaves the RNA pellet, which is washed with ethanol to remove any remaining impurities such as salts and enzymes. The clean RNA pellet is dissolved in a buffer or water that is free of RNases. You should check for purity and concentration 